you guys welcome to another bitter butter render blender tutorial so we all know how hard it is to unwrap a object in blender or really any 3d software especially for complicated shapes because they have a variety of faces and they're not equal to each other but sometimes even the simplest of the shapes such as a uv sphere can be hard to unwrap and there's a really good reason for that so if we open up a uv sphere right now we can see that the faces aren't equal or in other words, they're not the same as each other. The faces above here, they're more stretched out in a more triangular form, while the faces in the middle are more quadrilateral form. And that's why if you add an image texture to it, it won't give you a perfect unwrap. And right now it's all squished, but we can unwrap it to give it a better texture, but still it's not the best. This line, it's supposed to match with that, but it doesn't. And you can see that these spheres are not in a line with each other and it's all messed up i used to do this and i'm pretty sure most of you made a mistake like this and that is you would go around choosing these faces in the uv editing panel and you're trying rotating them trying to match them with other faces and it's gonna be really messed up and here's a quick tip to fix that we're gonna not use a uv sphere surprise we're gonna instead we're gonna use a cube and you might be asking yourself how's that even related we're trying to unwrap a sphere not a cube but here's the thing, since a cube has equal sides, considering that your image texture is neat and equal as well, it will give you a really good unwrap, an equal unwrap. So right now, first we're gonna click tab, going to edit mode, A, U, Smart UV Project, just to get a better um, projection out of the images. And we're gonna add the same image texture. And here's the cool thing. We can now see that these images, the image texture, are following each other or they're connected to each other, they're equal. Right now it's still a cube and to fix that we can easily add a modifier and that's the subdivision modifier. And that's where the magic happens. So if you give it a value high enough, such as six, I, re I don't recommend going any higher than that, but it looks pretty good. You can see that now the lines over here, they follow the other line and it's all neat. And if it's not neat, it's probably because the UV editing smart UV project is different compared to the one of your image texture. And to fix that, you can always go into the UV editing panel. Since this is a cube, there will be only one equal sided face and not a bunch of faces where you have to try to move around, move them around and match them. So you can easily move them to another area just like that. And you might have to scale them and all that, but it's a really neat method to get a really good UV unwrap. And that's it for today's tutorial and I'll see you next time.